I'm going to use Photopea to do a basic enhancement on a photograph. Um, I'm going to look at the levels, uh, that's the, and the, the tonal values, and just tweak the, uh, the colour saturation. Right, so the first thing that I do is I go to File, I go to Open, and I choose my photograph. And let's have a little look. There we go. Photograph of a daffodil. And straight off the, the camera. This was taken on a digital SLR. Um, the colours are okay, but I just want to look at those colours, tweak them a little bit, and also the tonal values. So the way I do that, I go to Image, Adjustments, and Levels. And that's going to move my sliders out of the way. So we have three sliders here. The one on the left controls the dark values, the dark tones. What I try to do is to drag it to the start of this sort of pyramid with the, in the, uh, the graphic information. And then the highlights I'm just going to bring across. And do you see it just enhances this bit here? Got to be a bit careful. I don't want to burn it out too much. I'm just going to take it back just a little bit. That's it. And then the middle one is obviously our mid-tones. I'm just going to take it to about there. So what it does is we've got the nice dark areas here and the lighter areas there. So we have a greater tonal range. Makes the photograph look more sort of punchy. So that's the basic tonal values. Something else I might look at is go to Image, Adjustments and Hue and Saturation. Saturation is the amount of colour it's got. Hue is the colours. Be a bit careful with adjusting the hue. It can make the photo look really rather strange. And I'm just going to take the saturation and just increase it just a little bit. Just take it up just to bust up. And you can see the area around here is now slightly enhanced, the trumpet of the daffodil. When I'm happy with it, I click on OK. Now then, if you go, if you look at the image adjustments and all this section here, these are a load of different filters that you can try in your own time. Uh, curves, for example, does much much the same as I've already done on levels. We all have our favourites, and as you get more experience in Photopea or Photoshop, you will as well. So, the last thing that we need to do now is to save our image in the usual way. I'll just show you once more. Go to File. We can't save as in Photoshop, or we can in Photopea. We can just do a PSD file. So I'm going to go to Export as JPEG. Click on that. 70% <clears throat> quality is fine. The size of the photo looks great. And that will now save, that will download into my downloads file folder, as you can see on the bottom left here. So, with the enhancement, experiment with it. Find out things that work for you, things that make your photos look better. And uh, just a load of experimenting, really. Thanks now. Bye.